Hello and welcome to Suburb Craft. Today we have another split level house. This one is, uh, as you can see, a pretty different floor plan from a lot of the other houses that uh, I've shown so far. It's kind of sort of a one-off. I mean, I might go uh, other places with these suited signs, but uh, as for now, this is pretty much the only one like it in the city. I believe it has uh, four bedrooms total, two bathrooms. It's fairly spacious. It's huge from the outside. Here we have the kitchen, as you can see, the dining room. This little window here. I kind of want to call it a cupola, but I, I don't think that's the correct term. Pretty sure that's something to do with railroading. And there's that uh, spooky sound effect. It's really annoying. I don't think it's even that dark in here, but uh, evidently the game thinks it is. Anyway, here we have the living area and the neat little skylight. I don't know, it's kind of a luxury feature, but personally, personally, whoa, well, personally I've always kind of been skeeved out by skylights. I don't know. It's like, you know, as unlikely as it is, I just the thought of somebody, you know, like looking in through the skylight is extremely unsettling to me. I don't know. I don't like that. Anyway, there's the deck, and in here we have the bathroom, which has some funky colored carpet, which is supposed to be, you know, like tile or whatever. And here we have the shower, the cabinets, the vanity, toilet, all that good stuff. And then behind me we have bedroom one, which has a walk-in closet, pretty neato. And then the bedroom next to it. Bedroom 2 on this level, which doesn't have a walk-in closet, and it's a lot smaller than bedroom 1. That's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. And that house back there that I was just kind of eyeing, that one I still have yet to do a walkthrough of. That one's actually interesting enough to warrant one, unlike a lot of the others in the neighborhood. So let's go downstairs, and here we have the main uh, family room. It has some neat uh, wood grain, wood grain, uh, whatever exactly that's called. I know there's a term for that too, but uh, I don't know what it's called. It's kind of like a little protrusion, I guess, from the wall. And here we have the uh, lower level bathroom, which is you know, it's a lot smaller than the one upstairs. Well, not a lot, but uh, it's, it's smaller, but it still has everything you need. And here we have another bedroom. It's pretty small, again, but uh, it's got window, a window, and uh, it's a bedroom. And here we have another bedroom, which uh, brings the total up to four, like I had said. This one's got a closet too, pretty big. And here we have the mechanical room, with the washer and dryer, water heater, and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and close this, close that. And let's head out, head out to the back. Through the garage here, and up to the service door. And as you can see, this house is pretty big. And the roof there is really awkward, but uh, that's kind of a side effect of basically having the front end design the way it is. As you can see, there's kind of that one part of it that uh, goes out past the rest, and that kind of messes up the roof design. But that's the back side of the house, and that's not visible from the street, so, eh, no worries. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Be sure to check out the walkthrough of this house, which uh, I love. Love this house. And I believe that's episode 30, something or other. Just look for the uh, bricks and the gray wool in the thumbnail. That's a cool one. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this episode. It's nighttime now, as you can see. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, if you enjoyed, you, you know, please feel free to leave a like or a comment or you know, subscribe or whatever. If not, then uh, feel free to leave some constructive criticism. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much all. Thanks again for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next time.